At the start of the election of 1860, there were four candidates. John Bell, Constitutional Union candidate, John Z. Breckenridge, Southern Democrat, Stephen A. Douglas, Democrat, Abraham Lincoln, Republican. For all candidates for this radical election. Keynes. All of the candidates had varying ways of campaigning, but three specific candidates had very different methods. Breckenridge's campaign was a very small one, and he only gave one speech. I'm not sure why it's called a campaign, because ever since I started, it's been a camp pleasure. On the other hand, Stephen Douglas' campaign strategy was almost the opposite of John Breckenridge. He went to the North and South giving speeches, and pushing that he was a post disassession. Abraham Lincoln put off his law practice to start the stay-at-home campaign, and didn't make any stumped speeches. Abraham Lincoln also told his party workers to not make a comment on anything potentially controversial. Nothing on points where it is probable we shall disagree. John Bell got 39 electoral votes, and John C. Breckenridge got 72 votes, while Stephen A. Douglas got roughly 12 electoral votes, and finally Abraham Lincoln, with about 89 electoral votes. Abraham might have gotten more votes, if it weren't for the South, who pinned the Harper's Ferry raid on the Republicans, since they were biased against them. Early a month later after Abraham Lincoln's inauguration, the country spiraled into a civil war. This is the end of the video.